I'm gonna be going over my tips on how I balance my family lifestyle with my immense entrepreneur job. Like ultimately, I love having a family lifestyle, but I also love business. Um, I, it goes hand in hand. Both have my heart. Like it's very hard to choose from because one funds the great times that I can have with my family. So it's like, why should I give one up? You pay for me to have good times with them. So I ultimately want both. Um, I understand that it's not really common for us to see women and men who come together, who both have businesses, who actually get along or show us an example of how that can work. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I've been doing and what I've been practicing at home to kind of make my relationship work, make my family aspect work, and ultimately make my business work for myself. These are just some of the things that I do to help balance everything. I don't want anyone to feel left out. Like, I don't want my kids to feel like I'm focusing on my business. I don't want my boyfriend to feel like I'm focusing too much on my business. I don't want my business to feel like I'm focusing too much on my kids, you know? So it's just like balancing everything. So. I usually just pick days and times to work everything out. It's all about scheduling. Like if you don't know how to schedule, you're really just not going to make it. Like it's all about organizing and scheduling what days you're going to do what. So I'll take like, you know, the weekend days or certain days out of the week that I will really just focus on my children and having fun times and just like spending money and lounging and relaxing and just doing our thing. And then I will have days where I just focus on strictly cleaning and organizing so that I can prepare myself to get work done because I legitimately cannot work with a mess and I work from home. So this place has to be tip top shape. <laughs> so then there's days where, you know, you just have to focus on organizing, cleaning, getting that done. And then there's days where you just legitimately go in on the business and ignore everyone. And hopefully in between there, you can sprinkle a date night or two. I know that this sounds like a very like crazy and very full schedule, but ultimately it's not that bad and it really helps your days to just go and flow by with ease. You're never just like having your days feel like they're dragging because you're always having something planned to do something and one step always sets up the next. So I will just let you guys know how my whole week goes. So starting Monday and I just start off with work. Um, I usually just really go hard. On Monday I wake up on the weekdays and spend time with my kids up until like 2 p.m. and then I usually have somebody come in and watch them so that I can get work done for the rest of the day so I really really like to focus on my children in the morning time and go to the park and do like different things but then once two o'clock hits it's like okay time to focus on the business so that's the schedule literally from Monday all the way till Friday it's two o'clock children from the a.m. all the way till 2 p.m. and then from that point on straight up work you know and by that time they're usually going to sleep like by the time the nanny leaves or anybody who's watching them they're usually going to sleep so it's not that big of a deal for me to really just finish up work and once the weekend comes on like saturday and sunday and friday night and just friday in general friday saturday sunday those are the days that I literally just dedicate to the family. Um, I don't really like to do things on the weekends because there's so many people outside. So I like to just take that time to be home with my family and go to the park and just do like fun things that are just like outdoorsy. I don't like to go to the mall. I don't like to shop. I don't like to wait in lines and places on the weekends. Like I just avoid all that stuff and just stick to my children and just fun places that are just a breeze for us to do. And then like throughout the week, say like a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night, usually me and my boyfriend will be able to go and have our like date night and just rekindle what we have going on and just get back to like us and just having fun. And just with having like those one to two date nights um, a week or even every two weeks, it's really helped us to just balance everything as a whole because he's really driven, I'm really driven and like we are really full and we really, really care about our kids. So like that's our main priority. So sometimes we can get like a little bit lost and kind of just not really put each other first. So those times and those nights are really days where we can just get back to just feeling each other's personalities and just putting each other first again. It just feels really good. And it feels like almost like refreshing like the whole relationship as a whole. I just say that it's revolved around the schedule and just 
adding things to the schedule that will produce balance. You just need someone who's going to be able to compromise with you and understand your schedule and just work with you. As long as you're able to really just plan things out, you will get things done. So those are just some of my tips when it comes to balancing family and work life because I know that there's not a lot of people on here who will talk about this <laughs> and it's been a little bit of a journey to how how to discover it but I finally feel like we finally have a great pattern going on and I really just want to share it with everyone else out there who may be struggling with balancing their spouse their family and running their business because you ultimately don't want your business to destroy your family or to destroy your relationships and so many times we see that when we're focused too much on something it can ultimately destroy our relationships so my family is literally my number one priority above even my business like I know my business funds my family but without my family I wouldn't even want to fund anything so they come first but I ultimately don't want to make that an excuse for me not to get shit done because not a lot of times what happens, you know? So they're going to be my motivation to get shit done, not my excuse to not get shit done. And it's sometimes it's hard to balance that because you got all this mom guilt and all this stuff you got feeling like every time you're working and, you know, you just really need to understand that it's all about balance mindset and telling yourself that you are doing the right thing when you know you are. I hope that this video helps you and I will see you guys next time. Bye!